hi everyone welcome again to my channel hope you're all doing great today i'll be working here in the front yard and i'll be planting these lavender bushes that i bought a couple of weeks ago the weather has been a little bit crazy around here lately but this afternoon is really beautiful and i'm glad that i can work on this project today and share that with you the area i would like to plant the lavender bushes is this a uh, row where we used to have the travertine stone as part of the sitting area here in the front yard. And we've since taken them out and, you know, I used to have a, a few lavender bushes here um, in the past that have not done so well. I've bought new lavender bushes um, and I'm hoping to plant them today and also redo this area a little bit. Um, it's just about 60 centimeters wide. Uh, I might make that a little bit wider as I weed and edge the corners of the of the lawn a little bit. I'm also going to be redoing this area around the entryway of the vegetable garden. I'll be removing that boxwood but also the one that is on the other side and I'll plant those in a different area. Then I'll work on edging the lawn a little bit and uh, we'll see how it comes together. So I'm going to start with clearing the area of anything that is not supposed to be here right now and then I'll be digging up the boxwoods and I'll start weeding. So the two boxwoods are gone and this is the space we have to work with. So I have a hole there and over here, so I'm going to go ahead and start reading. So with all the weeding done now, we can see even more of the space that we have to work with. And the next thing for me will be to work on edging, giving a clean, a clean line to that side. So there are many ways um, how we could do this. Uh, we could, you know, we could go for precision work or any kind of. For me, this is this is what works for me right now, and it's going to give me the outcome that I'm that I'm aiming for. So after cutting the edges with the half moon edging tool, I'm just going to pull back the gravel a little bit, and then I'll use my shovel basically to remove those grasses that I don't want to have there anymore. And now I'm using a rake. I'm using a rake to, to remove the grasses, the little pieces that may have been left behind and just pulling them. So I've always wondered uh, what this space would look like if I put those uh, pavers, the same pavers that I have on the edge of that border, if I put uh, a line here. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to do this today, but um, I like the way it looks so far. You know, I've put a few there and um, I think I'll just go ahead and complete the line and uh, yeah. So it's slowly getting late and the weather is acting crazy again this evening. Uh, but I, I really like how it's looking right now. Mm. There's a bump around there, but it's not looking too bad. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the lavender planted. This variety of lavender belongs to the Angustifolia lavender or the English lavender. And it's going to bloom from July all the way to October. It's pretty hardy as well uh, from zone five to nine, I believe. It's very, very tolerant, drought tolerant. And I think this is what we should be expecting once it uh, reaches maturity. Uh, it does have a really, really nice scent. I, I could feel it, I could smell it when I was positioning the little bushes. And it's going to grow really, really big. So uh, they, they just indicated that we need to plant it one meter 
you need to plant the little bushes one meter, uh, one meter apart from each other so that they have enough space to grow and, uh, and, and, develop, and develop properly. I'm only keeping them 60 centimeters apart and I'll have to be you know, more on point with their trimming and pruning once they start reaching that um, level of maturity that uh, would require for them to have uh, more space. But I think right here, there's nothing else growing around here, so they'll have enough space either way. I'm amending the soil here while I'm planting the lavender with some compost and some multi-purpose fertilizer. And there is a slight slope on this side of the garden and that should uh, contribute to a no drainage problem for, for the plants that I'm planting right now. So, and overall, this property is elevated. The, the entire property or the entire plot is a little bit elevated compared to the, to the rest of the plots around here. And that is something that we did when we were building. And I do suffer more of drought in my garden than my neighbors, for instance, just because we had the, the plot elevated a little bit to be able to see the lake. So this is the final outcome. The kids and I did come here and uh, added a little bit of gravel. And I did a little bit of uh, moving around this area where we have the entryway to the potager. And this is what it looks like right now. So <clears throat> there is still a lot to be done, but uh, for right now, this is, this is what we've got and I'm pretty happy with that. So the lavender is still quite small right now, but uh, it's going to grow and fill up the space beautifully. Not quite a straight line there, but <laughs> So, thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.